guys, it's Rodea and welcome back to my channel Rodea TV. I just came back from the second day of the American Chariot premiere event at Digicel IMAX in Trinidad and Tobago and I must say the movie is amazing and I urge everybody to go ahead and look at it for yourself and get a first hand experience of the movie. It is a really really good movie. It was produced by Umar Regan who is also an actor in the movie. The movie really touches on issues that are really, really important in today's society, not only in our country, on a worldwide scale, and I feel like everybody should really look at this movie. I know that from the trailer, some people felt like the movie made a mockery of Islam and that sort of thing, but genuinely and personally, I feel like if that is so not true, and I feel like you need to look at the movie in order to cast those kinds of aspirations anyway so I feel like everybody should just look at the movie and then you know you could decide how you feel about it so me personally I enjoyed it I think that um, the issues touched on like Muslims being terrorists and branding Muslims a certain way in the world today it is a very very huge problem I feel like what Omar Reagan did was very commendable and we need more people to show the world that Muslims aren't horrible people. Islam is, is, is so peaceful and so so good and so pure and everything like that. And people should not base their views on Muslims on things that could never represent Islam. I feel like everybody should watch the movie. It's called American Sharia. It is this whole new movement. Instead of Hollywood, we have Halaliwood. I think that it is a huge stepping stone into creating awareness about Muslims and the truth behind Islam and the truth behind who a Muslim person is and I think that it is so desperately needed in our society today and I commend Omar Reagan for taking the first steps in initiating this Halaliwood. Also I want to thank the organizer of the event Hasib Ali for allowing Scribbles and Quills my bookstore to be a part of the event. I appreciate it so much. So I put together this video which encompasses interviews by Omar Reagan himself and Nadine who's an actress in the movie. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching.
from Hollywood, and I'm so happy to be in the Scribbles and Quills world right here with the one and only Ladia herself. Yeah. Salam alaikum. How are you? I'm good. You have all of our favorite books. <laughs> Look at this. Do ours for success. Who doesn't want success? Come. Listen. Stories of the Quran. Oh, keep our knowledge sharp. Inshallah. Always increasing knowledge. Oh my God. You have this book. The tale of two cities. And great expectations. And great expectations. We expect you guys to make sure you subscribe to Scribbles and Quills and make sure you visit Scribbles and Quills and you can meet Radia. I'm meeting Radia. Yeah. More well, like I'm meeting him. You know what I have to say to everybody? MashaAllah. The Scribbles and Quills and Radia, she is brilliant at <laughs> I'm Layla. Yeah, so, yes, I want to ask you, um, how do you find the reception that you've been Has been so far? Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy that the reception has been very warm and it's very touching. I had some amazing comments last night. It was really, it really touched me. You know, Alhamdulillah. That I find out people here in Trinidad, they really watch the movie. They watch every yeah. detail. And then they was talking about some things that really touched them. And it was, one sister told me, and she said, oh, the Salat scene, because we don't have peace in our Salat when we're working. She said, so when you show that, it really touched me. And it gave me some strength, you know. And I was like, wow. I know that's for myself. I wrote that because of myself. You know? Yeah, my experience that, you know, and I said, oh, but alhamdulillah, I'm happy. I think it's the same thing with us as well. Like, we find these times where I was in a way, some people do the library and the faculty library and that kind of thing. Yes. But in my school, we, uh, we created a little group where we can have all the Muslim brothers. Pray there. Pray there. Yeah, man. Yeah. I like another sister, you know, she made a comment about the hijab. She said, oh, the scene where the sister talked about the hijab, oh, it was so touching to her. And she said, are you guys in my mind? <laughs> so I was like, wow. She said, you said the exact thing I've been going through. So, alhamdulillah, man. I'm really happy, man. Trinidad is amazing. Because I wanted to ask you, um, what was the inspiration? Why did you get into Hollywood? Why did you think that we needed something like Hollywood? As opposed to Hollywood? Well, I, I know it because we nobody's telling our stories. Our stories is always one-sided. And then the way, every time they tell our story for us, then they, they associate us with terrorism or, you know, something totally out of our character, out of what we believe in, um, out of who we are. And so, so basically just to spread Islam for what it really is. Yeah, to represent us, yeah, to I tell like our that. stories. I like that. <laughs> and it just, I mean, we have to. Yeah. So that's that's the biggest inspiration of Amdalila. Tell our own stories and not allow other people to tell, to tell, tell for us. <laughs> that's right. Good, well, thank you so much for talking to me. No, thank you, Radia. It's Radia from Scribbles and Quills. Get your books. Come here now. <laughs> you should listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. I do. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. <laughs> How are you? I am fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. So I was wondering today if you could tell us how was your experience um, being an actress in this movie? Well, I mean, it was incredible. You know, an incredible experience yeah. being a part of the movie. You know, especially being an actress in the movie. Yeah. It was a lot of work. You know, before I got involved with the movie, when you look at the big screen and you see all the actors and actresses, they make it look so easy. They make it seem yeah. as if, like, was it that you easy? Know, oh my gosh. It's <laughs> such a task. It's so, it's such hard work. It really is an art. It really is. Um, something that requires a lot of effort and energy. It's not something that you just kind of turn on the camera like we are today and yeah. just film and you're done. It requires yeah. so much prepping and planning and right. just to record, you know, the few scenes that you saw on the big screen for me took a total of like 16 hours wow. from start to finish just to get, you know, whatever it is, five minutes into the movie. So you can imagine a whole hour and a half yeah, movie definitely. feature can take as long. But other than that, it's an incredible experience. 
being on set with all the actors, actresses, working with the director and producer Omari again. It's just been a whirlwind start to finish. We've been touring all over the world, um, you know, getting on the tour bus, going city to city, so Very it's been cool. a lot of fun. <laughs> Was this your first movie? Definitely my first movie. Do you think it um, Okay, no, yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, you look good on the big screen, I must say. <laughs> so, uh, do you have a favorite book? You know, my favorite books, I think, go back to when I was a kid. One in particular, don't laugh at me. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I, this is going to probably reveal my age, because I don't think they make this anymore. But it was a book called Captain Underpants. Okay. I don't know if you've ever read it. It was like this I book series about this superhero that was in his underpants. Well, that's all that's <laughs> for some reason, I love the book. Like, I, I mean, obviously, I have the more intellectual books as well, but that's just a book that, I, that I've always remembered. Another one is... Um, uh, a story about, or a, 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 what was her name? It was Amelia, and she wrote her own journal. And the book looked like a journal, like it looked like, you know, yeah, it like had it drawings and doodles, and, doodles and that was another one of my favorites. Sounds very interesting. But of course, you know, today uh, my number one book that I try to go to, you know, when, when I have time to read is of course the book on other books uh, related to this that I want to have time to read now. But time is very slim, and I wish I could read more. So, but maybe. Same here. Maybe Scribbles and Quills will inspire me too. Of course. Well, thank you so much for appearing. Thank you. By the way, I have one more um, suggestion for you. So, do you plan on carrying like audiobooks or DVDs or anything? Inshallah. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Thank you, Rizzi. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.